Okay, so we're going to take a look at our first discussion board post. In this post, we're kind of working with a hypothetical scenario that one of your friend's home has recently flooded. And obviously, when the home is flooded, the furniture gets ruined. You've got to replace everything. And so you and some of our friends, you get together and you're going to raise money to replace her um, living room. So that's what you guys are tasked with is just the living room. So your specific job is to estimate how much money you would need to raise so you can set the fundraising goal. So you're going to go online. You're going to pick a store. You're going to explore the cost of living room furniture. And you're going to pick six different pieces of furniture. So a sofa, a recliner, a coffee table, an end table, an entertainment center, all of those different things. Then, in your initial post, you're going to kind of create like a budget. You're going to put the item and the price for the item. All prices should be rounded to the nearest hundred. Then, you're going to put the URL for where every item is so that we can click on it and enjoy your impeccable furniture taste. Last, you're going to add all of those together and you're going to give a total estimate. And then you're just going to explain if you think that estimate is reasonable or not. Uh, and that's based on your own experience. So in your reply to appear, it gets kind of awkward, right? Sometimes you're like, good job, and you don't really know what to say. So in our department, we're giving you guidelines. So you're going to find somebody to respond to. And you're going to determine how much money you need to raise to reach the goal. So if you're looking at it, you're going to find somebody nobody's replied to, and you're going to estimate how long will it take for the repairs to happen um, between 6 and 18 months, because you can't do furniture, you know, until you do the repairs. Um, you're going to look at how did you get to your estimate um, about the damage that it incurred. So we're now talking about damage to the home and not the furniture. And then you're going to look at their estimate of what they need to raise. And if it takes them 12 months to repair the house, you have 12 months to raise it. So then how long, I'm sorry, how much money will it be every month that you have to raise? So what's their total? How long are you estimating it takes to repair the house? And then how much money do you have to raise every month? And your next reply this one's not really math-based, so you're just going to find somebody else. Maybe they have some cool furniture that you like. Maybe they gave some interesting scenario. And you're going to reply to them, and you're going to just say, have you ever started a GoFundMe? And then explain how it worked for you. Is there anything you should consider financially when you're buying furniture? So that could be something like a warranty, um, how you clean it the type of material versus like the type of family. Um, Cause like if you have young kids, you don't want white couches. Um, and then just share, is there any particular resource like the live binder or seminar or a website that helps you out with the material this week? So the replies are pretty light. Um, and the last reply is usually more of a thinking question and less of a math question, but that's what you have to do for your discussions this week.